Hey, I'm Moody, and I'm here to give you a moon message. The moon is in the waxing crescent phase. The waxing crescent phase. Hmm. Let's see what this energy is about. Why I feel drawn to do a reading. Yeah, I'm drawn to do a reading. The hangman, the queen of wands, the fool, six of pentacles. Okay. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, tell me about this message. Ooh, stop. The High Priestess Reverse. Mm. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles Reverse. This one and oh, this one. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. And we end with justice. Oh my God, let the words of my mouth be acceptable unto you, my strength and my redeemer. The hangman. You have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas. Whoever this reading is for, it's a general reading. All signs, all energy. <laughs> but I hope that it resonates with you. And if so, like, show the love. All right, so we open up with the hangman. And from what I know about the hangman, this person just has to sit up so that they are not reverse. And they are not suspended. And then they can jump down. But they choose to arch their back like that and look upside down. Because they want to gain a different perspective. So the hangman is usually energy that self-induced to gain more insight. The queen of wands is all about confidence, courage, being able to birth something new out of just desire, sheer desire. Um, this is a Queen of action. Yeah, wands generally are about action. Um, Leo, Aries, Sag. Hmm. And then the fool. About a spiritual journey. Taking a leap of faith, a risk to do something different that you've never done before. Just stepping out on faith, not having a plan, just knowing that God has got you. And stepping out on that. So I see somebody taking time to 
explore who they are, feeling confident and courageous enough to know that the sky is the limit. And this is all about spirit blessing you for being faithful. Oof. Pentacles. And then there's some type of offset of balance. Somehow you were blessed and then there's an offset of that blessing. So I feel like a blessing came and as quickly as it came, it was taken away. God giveth and God taketh away. Oof. Just to keep something in balance, maybe it wasn't, maybe faith didn't endure. You know, sometimes my faith gets weary Sometimes I say, where are you, God? Like, when is it going to happen? And that's kind of what I feel. But this is the most spiritual card in the deck, the high priestess. And when that's reversed, it's like you're not listening to spirit. You're not listening to your intuition. And so just how he blessed your journey, it can be made not fruitful, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is about being resourceful, where when God gives you a lot, he expects you to share, to be resourceful with it, to give, to be plentiful. Mm. Okay. And so I'm feeling like somebody had to be humbled, really humbled in order to complete that cycle successfully, which brought clarity and enlightenment of the truth of being authentic, of being real, mm. not being driven by pentacles, earthly possessions, to the point where you give up your soul. Ooh. Preach spirit. <laughs> Yeah, you know, there's some truth. <clears throat> like, how much will you sell your soul for, Moody? And, you know, a lot of people get to a point where they got to ask themselves, you know, damn, you really went cheap. It's like you, you were at the top, the top of the cliff, right? And then money, earthly things caused you to not be able to hear your intuition causing a tumble you know they say be careful how high you rise because and be nice to everybody on the way up because you never know when you're going to take a tumble and that's what the six of wands reverses i don't know who this is for but if that humbles you, then that cycle was successful. And, and you've learned some truth, enlightenment, how to be authentic. Bringing justice, restoration of balance, another major arcana. Spirit has many ways to make us just, to do the right thing. Hmm. Especially when we get too far out of line. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? We're going to look at what caused somebody to be in a hangman state. The Eight of Pentacles reversed. Maybe somebody lost a job. Maybe somebody lost time with someone else you know like when you lose time with your children you can't get that back you just have to go forward but it was beneficial you know it's the eight of pentacles and and that's pretty substantial um could be that somebody well you know something actually with the pandemic we all had a shift in work 
and it caused us to look at things from a different perspective actually everything that's happened to us in the past two years has caused us to look at things from a different perspective eight of pentacles substantial things from a different perspective reverse mm -hmm. qualify the queen of wands Holy Spirit, Angel, Son, Spirit, that is what's the message. Thank you. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords. This is the Ten of Swords. So the Queen of Wands is qualified by the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Yes somebody's dreams being killed you know you could kill somebody with one sword but ten swords is excessive wow somebody really hurt somebody who was the queen of wands they spent critical time you know a lot of time has passed and still it's the ten of swords still they are yielding swords against a queen of wands a leo aries a sag wow when you've spent a lot of time sewing swords like that towards somebody else to it's very painful with ten of swords to hurt them to stop them to be mean to them to be cruel to make sure that they're not able to achieve anybody who does that beware i mean what do you expect lies deceit manipulation anything to hurt a person a leo aries or sad somehow could be involved doesn't have to be pisces and the fool is aquarius so Mm -hmm. All of those signs could be involved. Also, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Oh, the High Priestess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra, strong. Let me see. Yeah. Hmm. But the high priestess reverse is at the center of the reading. Hmm. What a pass. Somebody saw you as the Queen of Wands, like having everything. And then they approached with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords, creating the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles reverse. And they took your love away. They took your free spirit. Wow. Took it for granted. Stepped on it. Mistreated it. Mm, that's why you had to restore balance. Oh. Restore balance spiritually. Lost some faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're like, how could this have happened to me? God. Yeah, you felt like a failure. The Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Very disappointed very disappointed it's like one moment you're on top of the world you're going through a free, free fall having faith and then this three of swords and seven of swords throws you totally off balance by somebody that you loved so and they've done this over a period of time and you're like god how did you let this happen god you know you asked me to take a risk to go on a journey with you, to open my heart to love. And I'm disappointed with the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Very disappointed, wondering, you know, 
after experiencing the Ten of Swords in the past, after having my dreams shattered, you know, I fell and maybe I hit somebody. I hit the ground. Hmm. Yeah. This definitely caused confusion. I think just a loss, a temporary loss of faith. A loss of insight. Mm. Somebody could have currently be experiencing this. They could be experiencing a sense of going for a free fall and what it feels like when you hit the earth. When there is no parachute, nothing to break your fall. When you feel like you failed or you're just disappointed. In the turn of re events. <clears throat> so at that time, you know, there was a sense of confusion. But then spirit shows up. The Ace of Swords. Aces, all aces are blessings, right? So some type of clarity, truth, enlightenment, communication, you know, something comes to elevate your thoughts, to lift your vibration, to let you know it's okay. In spite of the losses that you've endured, Everything's okay. Some type of blessing. Some type of answer. Some type of truth. Communication. Something comes to give you peace. Clarity. Right? Brighter days. Enlightenment. Something happens. That's good. And you're grateful. You're grateful. Yeah, it's like you begin to put back the pieces of your foundation. You know, you there's restoration here after a loss of love. Yes, definitely a loss of love. Somehow it could be a family member because I do see adults and children. It could be siblings. There was a loss of somebody, a mother, a father. There was a loss. Of somebody that you deeply loved over the Ten of Swords hurt. Somebody trying to hurt somebody who was a Leo, Aries, or Sag. They wanted to really maim you. I mean, really hurt. Mm. Okay. This is somebody, you know, sometimes people just don't know how to love. I'm, I'm just drawn back to the lovers. You know, it could be a family and then you're all raised as a family unit and people don't know how to love. Somebody in that family didn't get the emotional encouragement that they needed. And therefore, wow, mm. I don't know. You know, sometimes it's like, how could we be raised by the same parents and be so different? This person that hurt others for a very long period of time mm. is also going to receive some truth, some clarity regarding love, what it really means to love someone, Spirit said. Mm.
So whoever was the Queen of Wands took a leap of faith only to have it dashed. You receive some communication with the Eight of Wands. After not having success with the Six of Wands, things are going forward and you're not feeling like there's any victory. So, in other words, you did go forward, but you know how sometimes you're like, well, nothing, there was no victory there and you still must press on, you know, but you don't need closure. You don't get closure. I don't feel there was any closure or any communication, or if there was communication, it was weak. But it did come because the Eight of Wands is here. Mm -hmm. And then qualifying the world um, is the King of Pentacles. And that's basically us picking ourselves back up, restoring ourselves after a very difficult cycle. We're required to pick ourselves up from the foundation to lift ourselves up. Look how high this person is uh, on an elephant, it looks like. And elephants are very, very tall. Mm -hmm. The King of Pentacles is all about restoration, especially after a rocky time. Nine of Pentacles, absolutely. Feeling self-assured, restoration of self, you know, and feeling the courage and the confidence again as a king after you are able to restore yourself to the Nine of Pentacles. Then the cycle is completed successfully. And your, your true self appears. You know, um, and you feel good about it. You hold your head up high as a result of receiving this truth, this confidence, this enlightenment that you have the power to restore yourself after a major setback. And a lot of times just by you restoring yourself, they see you, your light just beams. So everybody sees you and you're looking good. And that in itself is your justice, you know, that nobody or nothing could keep you down. Oh, Satan tries to and people try to. And sometimes we even doubt ourselves with the high priestess reverse. But when it's all said and done, you do what you need to do to be the authentic you. And that in itself is your justice. I don't know who this reading was for, but I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video if you think it will help somebody. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you that should even take the time to listen, even if it's for a minute. Come back again until the next moon phase. Namaste.